All right, in this video, we're going to do another example, one that I think is maybe just a little trickier. Um, so we've got two triangles. Uh, notice they both have an angle of alpha, which is 54 degrees. Uh, they both have a side length of B, which is 20.4 centimeters. They both have a side length of A, which is 18.95 centimeters. We want to find the sizes of angle 1 and angle 2 to the nearest degree. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on um, the second triangle. I'm going to use the law of sines. So again, we know that B is 20.4. We know that A has value 18.95 that's been given to us. Uh, the angle alpha is going to be 54 degrees. And we don't know, again, the uh, measure of angle 2. That's what we're going to determine here. So we could say the sine of angle 2 over 20.4, that would equal the sine of 54 degrees over 18.95. So what I'm going to do is just simply multiply both sides by 20.4, by 20.4. So that will give us the sine of angle 2 equals, um, I've got sine of 54 degrees to be 0.809 over 18.95 times 20.4. Um, after taking 0 0.809 and multiplying it by 20.4 and then dividing by 18.95, um, I'm getting this to be 0 0.871 roughly. So to solve for the measure of angle 2, we would just do the inverse sine of both sides. And I'm getting uh, that the inverse sine of 0.871 is uh, roughly equal to 60.58, and we'll round that off to 61 degrees. Okay, so we now know that uh, the measure of angle, uh, the measure of angle two is just going to be 61 degrees. So let's go back to our original picture. Um, so let's see. So here's uh, our triangle with uh, angle 2. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is you can imagine basically sticking sort of the triangle on the left inside of the triangle on the right. And what's going to happen when we do that, okay, so notice the side, um, okay, so if we put the, the smaller triangle inside the bigger triangle, uh, we still have our side length here of of A. Um, so this would also equal A in this case. Um, we also have our side length A here. Um, this is going to be our angle alpha. This is our angle 1. Well, we said that the side length A, um, that was uh, um, 18.95, and that's not so important here. But uh, what is important is, you know, again, when we stick the, uh, this triangle inside of the other triangle, since uh, if you look at the, the triangle on the right now, we're kind of forming a new triangle here. So this is still our side length B. Um, since uh, angle 2 inside the smaller triangle has a, has a side length of A opposite, well, again, since there's an A on the opposite side here, that means that this angle would also equal uh, the same thing. It would have the measure of angle 2. But again, we know that the measure of angle 2, we figure that, that out to be 61 degrees. Well, if you add up the degrees along a line, we get 180 degrees. So if we simply take 180 degrees and subtract away 61 degrees, we're going to get 119 degrees as the measure of angle 1. Okay, so again, I think this to me it was kind of the tricky part. This was the part I actually wasn't observing at first when I was first playing with this problem again. So if you stick the bigger triangle inside of the smaller one, again, there's our triangle on the left, um, the original triangle we had. Um, the triangle on the right, um, you can really think about the triangle on the right as being the entire large triangle. And again, what we're really doing is just sort of dropping this new... Uh, we're kind of sort of making a, 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 this, this side A. Uh, so this side A is going to be the side in the middle. Well, again, in this triangle, uh, we know the measure of angle 2. Uh, again, we said that was 61 degrees. 
since this side length uh, is the same as this side length, that means that this angle would have to be the same as angle 2, again, which is 61 degrees. Uh, if we simply subtract again, we'll get that the measure of angle 1 in this case is 119 degrees.